everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is about twin flames who are not currently dating or speaking. And I have been there and I know how painful this time can be. So I want to share with you some messages that have been consistent through readings and healings um, that have been coming through spirit for uh, beloveds who are in this time. So the first thing is if you have um, met your twin flame and for whatever reason are currently not dating or speaking, this means you are currently in a metamorphosis. This means that there is the real, true, authentic you that is in the process of being embodied. And it is not personal what is going on with the other person and how they've been acting or what has transpired. No matter what your mind tells you, no matter how much it may seem and feel so very personal, it's not. And that has been just the universally consistent message um, for the last couple of weeks and months with twin flames who are, who are currently not together. And the other thing that Spirit keeps um, reminding everyone is this is a time um, when it is chosen by your souls that it's in both of your best interests not to awaken at this particular time uh, together. So for some twin flames, they awaken while they're dating. They awaken while they're married. Some twin flames wake up and then meet each other. And then for a certain trajectory, for a certain wave of twin flames, for whatever reason, it was time for us to meet at that specific moment, but it wasn't time for us to actually be together. And so, like I said, I know how painful this can be. So if you are needing special one-on-one -on -one assistance, if you feel that you can't do this alone, all the information to book an appointment online with me is below. It's super easy. You can go to my website, to the online booking calendar, pick a time that works for you, and it's and the appointment's made. Um, and so I want to get back to some of the things that have been consistent um, with the readings and the healings. And the other part is allowing for the energetic welcome. So if you're still holding on to the old story, if you're still uh, pointing fingers or feeling victimized, um, then it is um, there is more work and more healing to be done because how can you put up the energetic welcome sign if you're still feeling angry or betrayed by this other person? So when you have gone through this separation and you're in your own personal awakening metamorphosis, the journey is leading us out of five, out of 3D and into 5D. And your relationship exists in 5D. So if you can allow the priority to be to anchor the 5D and to let go of that old story, what is happening in the return to holistic masculine is the release of womanizing programs, is the release of the fear of commitment. Um, in the return to the holistic feminine, what is releasing is neediness, abandonment issues, feeling victimized. We are both returning to our holistic human form so that we can work and be one. And so to find that oneness within yourself, the peace within yourself is so very important. And I made a video about um, special healing messages for twin flames and separation, and I will link that other video below. All right, so when you're um, in the process of putting out your energetic welcome um, and anchoring the 5D in your own physicality, when your body anchors 5D, you will light up in a new way. 
and you will start to be seen not just by your beloved for your true authentic self but by everybody in your life and so this metamorphosis is so so profound and having gone through it and being in it myself I can tell you that if you are a twin flame who has been in the separation phase and even the confusion of whether or not this is your twin flame because you might have had readings or healings um, with psychics who said this was karmic and you knew in your heart it is not karmic. It is true love. It is unconditional love. You are asked and um, encouraged and an initiation from the divine is to be in your knowing, which can be super challenging when what is showing in your physical world is so very different from what you know in your heart. Um, so the other really consistent message that I'm getting um, for Twin Flames in, in this in this specific trajectory is that when you come back together, it is going to be like meeting a whole new person. And so allowing for that newness, allowing to get to know each other again means that you have let go of the old story. So again, if you're in this um, energy right now of not speaking or dating or having any communication with your twin flame, your number one priority is to anchor 5D. And if you need help doing that, um, like I said, all the information is below. And Awakened Love is still available on my website. If that online course resonates with you, um, feel free to check it out. Um, there is a free um, meditation, activation, and healing um, that is an introduction to Awakened Love so you can decide if it's right for you. And thank you so much for subscribing, liking, and watching my videos, and for sharing them. I so very much appreciate it. I'm sending you lots and lots of love. Namaste, everybody. Bye-bye.